Fetal alcohol syndrome is comprised of a cluster of findings that occur when a child is exposed to alcohol during pregnancy. The three main criteria for diagnosis are poor growth, so the children tend to be small and underweight, deficits in central nervous system functioning, which can range all the way from severe mental retardation to changes and difficulties with behavior and learning, and third, changes in the structure of the facial features. If a child meets all three criteria and was exposed to alcohol, then that child can be diagnosed with fetal alcohol syndrome. The truth is the majority of children whose mothers have used alcohol look normal. They have normal growth, they have normal weight gain, they have normal facial features, and in fact, most often have a normal IQ. The telling factor for these children that were exposed to alcohol is they have significant neurodevelopmental difficulties which translate into behavioral and learning problems that interfere with functioning at home and at school. These children are at extremely high risk because most often they are not recognized and consequently never receive the early intervention services they need. The mystery of risk lays out a path for understanding and recognizing children who have been exposed to alcohol prenatally and most important strategies for helping that child succeed long term.